Okay, so it is here. Oh, look at it! Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna check out some Pokemon today. And I'm gonna apologize right now because apparently my voice is starting to crack. My son is sick and he's getting me sick apparently, so I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna play some Pokemon today. I've been wanting to play this forever and I finally get to actually play it now. So we're not gonna play it in Spanish. I would not understand anything. Brown hair and pale, I feel like that fits me the best. <laughs> Ooh, I can change my hairstyle? I'll change my hairstyle, what do I got here? Oh, that's cute. Hmm, there's a lot more hairstyles here than I was expecting. It's been a long time since I've like played a Pokemon game and like other than Arceus. And um, I think I like, I think I like that one. Oh, I can actually change my hair color. Oh, I can have pink hair. Oh, wow, you can like super detail it, holy crap. I always like doing the like character designs, but it always takes so long. Ooh, the purple eyes are kind of cute. I like the blue though. Damn, there are so many options. Ooh, I like the light blue. I did not expect there to be this much customization. This is crazy. Whoa. That is so creepy looking. Not as creepy as the totally dark. Actually, I don't know. That does kind of fit with a lot of anime looking characters. Eyelash color. Oh. Pink brown. Man, some of these look just awkward. See, even though my hair is pink, it just looks weird having pink eyelashes. I think I may have to just go with good old brown. The dark denim blue, though, doesn't look that bad. Low key. You know what? Screw it. I got blue mascara on. She looks so sad with those ones. Aw, a little kitty mouth. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Let's get like a little kitty mouth. Kind of like the pink, not gonna lie. Can you tell that I like pink? I mean, the eye is kind of cute, actually. Aw, the freckles are adorable! Hell yeah, let's get some freckles in here. Aw, she's so cute! Look at her! Alright, that's everything now, right? Yeah, let's go for it. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, am I just, like, waking up here? Enrollment application, Naranja Academy. I apologize if I say any of these names wrong. And by if I say any of them wrong, I mean I'm sure I'm definitely going to, so I apologize. Naranja Academy, taking lessons from tradi tradition, growing stronger and greater. Oh, so am I like training to be a Pokemon trainer here? Oh. <laughs> I was like waiting for it to change on its own. <laughs> it's time for you two to dive into the world of Pokemon. Some of it was like just going by itself, so I keep waiting for it to go and then it's not. <laughs> and then it's just awkward as she's just standing there. Director Clavel, head of Naranja Academy. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokémon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Oh, it's so cute! Oh my god! Maybe I will turn my game down. <laughs> Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in the cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Oh, so I'm just learning about Pokemon here, so I'm not actually training via trainer here. Then our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. What the heck is with that Tauros? And as Pokemon trainers, they have Pokemon do battle, growing alongside them. 
while our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. We, the faculty and staff at Naranja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. Jeez, didn't wait for me for that one. <gasps> and I do have both Scarlet and Violet, but I am playing Scarlet right now. This looks so cool. Evie! As I'm sure you guys will realize very quickly, Evie is and always has been my favorite Pokemon. I liked Evie before it was cool to like Evie. <laughs> is this thing just cruising around town? I hope it says the names of the Pokemon in the Pokedex for me so that I don't have to try and pronounce them. Because I discovered recently there's a bunch of Pokemon I've been saying wrong forever. Oh. Oh, she's so cute! Walk. Your bag and hat are hanging there, but it's not time to get ready yet. Oh, well, fine then. Ah, It's a Squivet plush made with care, using nice soft material. Can I run? No running in the house, I guess. Your mom built these shelves herself. They're neatly decorated with your belongings. Today on... Ciudad de... Ciudad de... Ciudad <laughs> Adventures. <laughs> And that never happened. We'll see Mesagoza, a city that's home to the well-known academy. Oops, better get going. Oh, I thought that was on the TV. I was like, what the hell? Like, ah, oh, I know I'm in the middle of a broadcast. Oh, shit, I gotta get going. Supper's here. It's a new Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. Cool. Your very own wardrobe adorned with Pokemon stickers. Oh. Whoops. Your adventure guide. You can press X to open the main menu. Select save option from this menu to save all the progress you made. Open up your bag. You'll find some key items inside, including your adventure guide. Check it out whenever you want to ha review handy tips like these along with your adventure. Send a box and a manual. Oh, cool. So it doesn't automatically just send new Pokemon I catch to my box. It lets me actually choose. That's really cool. You guys are probably going to realize how long it's been since I played a new Pokemon game with how clueless I'm going to be on some of these things. Because I don't know if that's like a new thing that's like just in, like started in this game or if that's been for like multiple generations and you guys are like, what the hell? It's been around forever. Why are you so surprised by that? Soft, fluffy bed. It's got a lovely warm scent. Sun warmed scent. Jesus, I cannot read. Okay, well, I guess I'll go downstairs then. It's not time to get ready. Painting is entitled Stretching Woman. It's enchanting. This painting is entitled Windmills and Sky. You can almost feel the invigorating breeze. It's one of your mom's house plants. Careful not to knock it over. It's like kick it. There we go. Mitya. These cardboard boxes are heavy for being so small. What could be inside? Books? This painting is entitled Before Juicing. It's just emanates freshness. This artwork is entitled Patchwork Light. It's got different colors of paper pasted together. It's a big plant in a big vase. There are flowers blooming in it. I can see that. This pa painting is entitled Sweet or Street Midday. It depicts a beautiful town in a different region. Wish I could run. I can, like, literally interact with almost everything, except my couch and table, apparently. Spoke too soon, apparently. 
Room is just used for storage. You don't need to go in. Not quite ready to go to school yet. Fine then. Why am I walking so slow? Can I run faster, please? It's your mum's room. Better not go in there without asking. It's a first aid kit, a plush toy, and more atop the shelf. You can't reach up there, though. I was gonna say that looks a little high. <laughs> Lots of flowers are blooming in the backyard. It's Squilbit's bed. There are drool stains on it. Lovely. Mm. Come on down to every which way, every kind of sandwich, any way you want. Our subs are handmade by pros and perfect for picnics. Oh, my camera didn't just change automatically. Where am I? Why can't I see? Ah! What the hell? That was weird. My camera just like stopped moving. Oh, there's a, oh, it's a, like the 25th anniversary Pikachu sticker on the fridge. Oh, there's mom. What's up, mom? Good morning, Fallon. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, if it's your first day at your new school, after all. It is your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you were supposed to wait here a little longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Is it my Pokemon? Ding dong. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Fallon, get the door, would you? I don't wanna. I wanna look around. It's the new fridge you brought when you move. Bought when you move. There are sandwich ingredients in it. Just sandwich ingredients? That's all we eat around here. Sandwiches. It's an induction stove. You should get your mom's help if you're going to use it. Mom's like, what the hell are you doing? I told you to get the door. <laughs> Why are you inspecting our new fridge? Do forgive the intrusion. You are Miss Fallon, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clabble. The director? And you came in person to help my daughter with her first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. So here at the last, at last, are the enrollment documents that you should have, that should have already been delivered to you. Well, thank you. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, no need to trouble yourself. Fallon, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. I tried getting them before, but no. I wasn't allowed to get ready yet. Now, Mr. Clavel, if you simply must, you simply must join me for a cuppa. This way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Well, you did already once. Can I go talk to them? What's up? Is your room upstairs? No need to concern yourself with me. Go on. Off you pop, Fallon. Go to your room and get yourself ready for school. Mom's got some weird sayings. You need your bag and your hat too. Off you pop? Okay, Mom, whatever you say. I want to run. I'm walking so slow. Ready to put on your hat and grab your bag? Yeah, yeah. Aw, uh, how adorable am I? I'm going to the academy. Oh, just look at you. All ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our 
studied academy story. I cannot read today. Oh my god. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. I feel like that's a creepy thing for an old man to be saying to like a 10 year old girl, but hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, gracious. How very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Miss Fallon. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? I don't know, I got a pretty big living room here. Mom's got some money on her. Sending me to private academy and this big house. I wonder if this important thing might be. Let's follow the director outside and see, shall we? Nah, I figured I'd go back upstairs and go have a nap. <laughs> Get off my computer, please. Right then, dear Pokemon, come to out. Oh, time to come out of your Pokeballs. They're so cute. We provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Brigadito, the grass Pokemon, cat Pokemon. Goku, the fire croc Pokemon. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. He looks like he's got some attitude. They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. They're so cute. What's this? Hmm, so it turns out they're more interested in you, Miss Fallon, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now, if you'll excuse me, until we meet next. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? It's not an easy task. So she just left the uh, he just left the other two. What the hell? Might as well take them all in then. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little guys and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. You obtained the Rotom Phone. Latest model of smartphone. A Pokemon called Rotom lives within it. It can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. It'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go. Have fun. What's up? What you looking at here? Bruh. What the hell is squatted on its head? Why can I only pet him? Oh, there we go. She's so cute! I wanted to pet Quaxley, but hey, what's up? There we go. Oh, no, it's still not. Why can't I pet Quaxly? I love the kitty, but... There we go. The handy Rotom Phone is a popular item used throughout the Pal Paldea region. Adding apps to it gives a trainer access to a variety of useful functions. Using the Map app, you can find, yourself u find useful information about the Paldea region. If you move the map cursor over your own icon and then move the right stick from side to side, you'll rotate your own view along with the map. Handy for getting yourself orientated. You can use the left stick to move the magnifying glass around the map and find locations. Select a location by pressing the A button and you can set it as your next destination. The flying taxi service can take you to some places you visited before. Places that, can fly, that you can fly to are indicated with a feather mark. Try taking a flight. I guess I gotta go here, right? 
a visit to the neighbors. Take the Pokemon you are entrusted with on a walk, then meet the director Clavel at the house down the way. Okay, cool. Well, what's this over here? Why is it showing me the Pokemon on the map here? Why can I not run? Does it show me what that is? I don't know what that is. There's gotta be a way to run, right? I'm walking so slow. Spray medicine for treating wounds. Cool. It's cool that you can see the items a lot easier like that. I wanna know what the heck the freaking Pokemon there is. Why it's on my map. I'm so confused, like I don't see anything here. Add a Pokeball. What the heck is this thing on the map? I'm so confused. Can I run, please? I'm outside now. You're gonna be late for school at this rate. What's up? Stop petting him. I'm trying to read what he's saying. Showing me. I can't actually do anything there. Okay, cool. He does seem to be the one showing me the most stuff, though. There we go. This is Cabo Poco. It's not much, just a little pinch of community, but it's home. Now I'm running. That's much better. I just had to get past that barrier, I guess. Power of science is amazing. If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together, up to four of you at a time. Cool. You need to take these three Pokemon to your neighbor's house down the way. Okay, fine. I won't go exploring then. Oh, that's so much better. So is there just like regions I can't run in then, I guess? So as soon as I got past like that invisible barrier, all of a sudden I just started booking it. Either that or I got through to her and she was like, holy shit, you're right, I am going to be late for school, let's go. This is my neighbor's house? I thought she looked surprised like she'd never seen this house that's like 10 feet from her place. <laughs> he does have some attitude, doesn't he? She's so cute! <laughs> Aww. Are these three your, tra your trainees? Alright, are these three your trainees? Yeah, that makes sense, right? Not quite. Miss Fallon has yet to make her choice, you see. I do wonder, wonder which one of them she will choose as her first Pokemon. <laughs> Buenas. We haven't met yet, have we? I must say I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's newest member, Miss Fallon. Newest student, Miss Fallon. She will be attending as of today. So you're the kid who moved up from the road. Moved in up the road. Jesus, why can I not read? <laughs> I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Namoma. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? Yeah, sure. What happens if I say no? Nah, I'm good. Love that enthusiasm. We're gonna get along just fine. Mr. Moma. Mr. Mona is president of our school council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class. You'll have plenty of time to battle later. 
How are we in the same class if she's like already the student council president and a freaking pro trainer? And um, I'm just starting. How the hell does that work? And get to know each other better. And get to know one another better, of course. We're going to be neighbors and classmates? Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. On that note, Miss Fallon. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? That's Sprigadan, Sprigadino, a grass pipe Pokemon. It can use plant powers to soak up whatever water you throw at it. Cool. Um. That's Quaxly, a water type Pokemon. It may seem quiet, but its mighty streams of water can put out any fire. You'll see. I hate the ones I, not, uh, that was going to sound bad, saying I hate the ones that I don't pick. I hate, the, feeling, I feel so bad with the ones that I don't pick. I always want to just take them all. That's Kokoko, a fire-type Pokemon. Oh, this is the chick saying this. The burning hot sparks it scatters will fry any and all plants in a flash. Would you like to go with the fire-type Pokemon, Fukoko, here? I love them all, but I want her. <coughs> Would you like to go with our gr good grass-type Pokemon, Sprigitito, here? Jeez, I can't say her name. Aww, <coughs> oh, she's so cute! Oh my gosh! Sprigadito seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Miss Fallon. It's your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. Oh, I don't wanna. I wanted to ride on my shoulder. Fallon, I can't believe you actually chose Sprigatito. Why? I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Dr. C Director Quabble? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focusing on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Fallon while she raises her own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Miss Fallon here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Since Fallon chose Sprigatito, I'll go with this little one. Nice to meet you, Quaxley. Welcome to my team. <laughs> All right, then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help to get you to know your Pokemon as well. The auto heal feature will automatically select items from your bag to use them to heal your Pokemon. To use auto heal, highlight the Pokemon you want to heal from the main menu and press the minus button. Auto heal will use up the following items. Potions, fresh water, soda pops, super potions, lemonades, moo moo milks, and hyper potions. See, that freaking thing's still there, but it's closer now. And there's another one. I'm so confused what those are. Snemona was hoping you'd join her at the beach, wasn't she? She'd be ever so happy if you agreed to battle with her. I feel so bad for this little guy. He didn't get chosen. Miss Nimona awaits you at the beach, I believe. Fine. Can I fall off there? Oh, God, I can. <laughs> Whoops. I wanna know what those things on the map are. But I guess I'll go battle her first since I fell down here. I think I'm kinda trapped. Oh, over here. I'm getting an item. Ooh, I got a potion. 
She looks so pretty. Wow, she's so much taller than me. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So you ready to battle me? Perfecto! I'm so excited for this battle. I think I'll use Miss Demona. Trust you remember that Fal Miss Fallon is wholly unexperienced in Pokemon battling. <laughs> Whoops, good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. I thought that was the whole point of our battle. Come on, Fallon, let's have a fruitful battle! I look like I was like in a fighting stance where I just run up and punch her. We were challenged by Pokemon trainer Nimona. He sent out Quaxly! Go, Sprigadito! I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. Battle. The leafage isn't going to do a whole lot to him because he's waters. Let's go scratch, I guess. Ouch. Oh, really? Wait. No, 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 no. Wait a second. I'm getting confused here. Bruh. She picked the one that's weak against mine? Really? You're... I thought your opponent usually use, picks the one that's strong against you. So she should have been picking the other one. That's so weird. Didn't even clue into me. I'm like, oh no. I just assumed she picked the strongest one to me. She must have been studying up. That's so weird. She picked the weak one to me. She's so cute. Wow, not bad, neighbor. Damn, I got 300 bucks in prize money from her. Look at you winning your first battle ever. Even got more potential than I thought. You're gonna be a strong trainer for sure. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again. Just one more battle. Miss Fallon and her Sprigatito are surely weary already from the last battle. Uh, Sorry, I kind of got caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry. Same to your Sprigatito, too. Oh, definitely. We'll definitely battle more. You two seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure she can learn a great deal from a champion-ranked trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. The Pokedex app was added to your Rotom phone. I didn't have a Pokedex app before. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon traders. It's a super handy yeah. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, made it have actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokédexes. It's quite the age we live in now. <laughs> Filling out a Pokédex by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would take. Oh. <laughs> No, I suppose you can't. See, I just remember when we just had straight up Pokedexes. They weren't on the phones. <laughs> Yet no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. This is truly a timeless pleasure. The more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you will both work hard toward the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Demona, I do have a few matters to discuss with your parents. But I depend on you to see Miss Fallon to the Academy. You'd be doing me quite a favor. Of course, leave it to me. Then I leave her in your capable hands. 
All right, little one, it's time for you and I to go on our way. Oh, I'm so sad. I feel so bad for the one that just that gets left behind. Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with all my battling. Oh, right. Speaking of Pokedexes, Fallon, you've probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come with me. Press the minus button to open the Pokedex app on your Rotom phone in a flash. You can also navigate your Pokedex by pressing the X button. Battle or catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex app with fancier covers for Pokemon you've caught. Open up the Pokedex to view all the volumes they've collected on the digital shelf and check out what rewards you can earn by pressing X. Really? Press the plus button while you're looking at a Pokemon you've registered in your Pokedex. You can check that Pokemon's habitat to learn more about where they can be found and where they're active. Explore different areas as your adventure and meet tons of Pokemon. Cool. Recently battled Quaxley. Sprigatito. It's fluffy fur is similar in composition to plants. This Pokemon frequently washes its face to keep it from drying out. Aww. Okay, so Sprigatito, because I have it, is bigger. And Quaxley is not. Okay, cool. Or is uh, darker, I mean. Why am I crouching? What the hell? Why are you crouching? There we go. <laughs> hey, it's my mom. Oh, Fallon. Here, the Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So, you've already managed to make a friend. And I read about all the wonderful teachers you'll be ha looking after you at the school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend, Nimona, and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Mom, you're embarrassing me. Now you'll be staying in the school dorm, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. Why didn't you give me that before I left home, Mom? A dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, and other ingredients between two pieces of bread makes a fantastic meal when out on a picnic. Oh, and maybe you'd better take these, too. Five potions. Use them on that precious little partner of yours should it get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of ex exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all, the good times and the hard times, too. If you ever want to come back home, you know where your bed is. You know your bed is always ready for you. Oh, all right then. You two better head off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Your mother's so nice, Fallon. <gasps> oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, Vamoose. Vamoose. This way! Alright. This here is Poco Path. It's the path that leads to adventure for you and me. Out here, things are different than in town. You're going to see wild Pokemon and out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. get too close to one you'll have to battle but you've got Sprigatito for that right and if you want to try to catch a Pokemon you've got to use a good old Pokeball I've got tons have a few hey thanks you obtained five Pokeballs you put the Pokeballs in your bag pocket oink oink oh with luck time for some learning by doing try battling this Lechonk Fallon Le junk. Ah. You can try to catch wild Pokemon you're battling by pressing the X button and throwing a Pokeball. When you're having a hard time catching a Pokemon, try to deal damage to it before throwing another Pokeball. That should give you a better chance of success. A 
felt like if I used Leafage, it was going to do too much damage to him. Uh, I thought he was running away. <laughs> hey! Whip your tail at my Pokemon. I think... If I hit him one more time, I should be good, but I'm a little concerned. It's only a level 3, so I think this should be good. Yeah! Lechonk has been added to the Pokedex. Searches for food all day. It possesses a keen sense of smell, but doesn't use it for anything other than foraging. Lechonk has been added to your party. Let's go! <laughs> that was awesome! You caught the very first Pokemon you went for! I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me some tips. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs. Just in case. Not every catch works out. Hey, thanks. Ten of them. Weaken the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that and you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Let's meet back up at the lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Pokemon you see wandering around in tall grass, caves, and elsewhere. Wild Pokemon. When you run into a wild Pokemon, a battle will begin. Also start the battle by looking toward a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs. Add it using the ZR button. Try this tactic out to battle Pokemon that are up in trees or flying in the sky. Interesting. I want some shinies. Why isn't she going to the lighthouse? I wonder if I can actually see that they're shiny in the wild. I would assume so, right? Oh, now I can tell which ones are effective and not. I'm pretty sure that wasn't there before, right? Now that I've battled it and I know it more about it, or I've got it in my inventory, or inventory in my Pokedex. Really? Rude. I don't think they get experience still if they're not out in the battle, so I should probably be bringing him out too so that he can get some experience. Hey, I'm supposed to be tackling first. Oh, he was level four, damn. Well, now mine's level four. Let's bring it out there and bite. Oh, oh right, I got bite now. Let's try bite. Damn. I just want to check and see if I take it out if Lechonk will get experience, because I don't think he will. Oh, he does! Oh, you don't actually have to have them in battle anymore? Oh, that's so nice. Is there anything other than Lechonks around here? Ooh, a rare candy. Hey, what's up? Oh, God, is it a spider? Ah! I'm good. I'm good. I don't need a spider, right? A tarantula. I don't want her to take him out. He's only level two. Hey. Get your creepy web off of me. Why is there so many spider Pokemon? Not sure how far I have to get. Oh. Oh, okay. Crazy. So do you have to trade one of your Pokemon still, but they might 
Or do you just like go in and you're like, hey, we want to get something. You guys both get something. Or do you like trade like a little chunk and they can end up getting like a Sprigatito. Or a Quaxley. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, by the way. Uh, Sprigatito. The balls of thread wrapped around its body is elastic enough to deflect the scythes of scythers. This Pokemon is a, this Pokemon's natural enemy. The Tarantula has been added to your party. Oh, okay. Crazy. Ooh, I seen a Hoppip, I think. Yep. That's crazy. Ah! I should probably heal her after this. Rude LeChonks attacking my poor Sprigatito. What are all of these on the map? I'm so confused why I keep showing these. Because I've been seeing this little dude here for, like, forever. Are these Pokemon in this region? I'm so confused. Really? Yeah, I haven't played any of them in so long. Like, it, it's been a long time since I've played, like, a new one. I've only played, like, the older ones. I think Gold and Silver might be the newest ones that I've played. Sad, right? Oh, so what is that one, then? Why couldn't I not find that one? Or does that just mean that it's in the that there's ones of them in the region? Because that little bear-type-looking thing has been showing since I started the game, and I've not been able to see it anywhere. I'm going to get me a hoppip. Is that the only attack you got, my guy? Hoppip was caught. I guess other than Arceus. I've played Arceus. This Pokemon is blown across vast distances by the wind. It's unclear where the Hoppip of Paldea originally came from. So what number is he? 16. Oh, it's just like a different Pokedex then, obviously. Because he's not like 16 in actual Pokedex. Hey, there's another one. What's up? I want to find some shinies. Can you actually see the shinies on the map? I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That saves me so much time that I was thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to have to go through and do all this other stuff. Go back and restart it over and over and over again. Can you see the, like... If there's a shiny, can you actually see it from the map? Like, from the world map, or does it only look shiny once you get into the battle? Like, will it look shiny when you just see it walking around? Oh, you don't actually know about the shinies? Hmm. I feel like it would be weird if it didn't show you, like, walking around. Scatterbug! Oh, really? That's good to know, because I really want to try and find some shinies. Any poison this Pokemon takes is converted into a black powder and secreted. That's why Scatterbug can eat poisonous leaves and roots. Number 35. A super potion. There's some items over there. Ooh, I wonder what how the... Um, uh, different, like evolution patterns works for scatterbug in this. It's just random when you evolve him, or what? I should probably catch a couple of them, I guess. I am kind of curious how that's going to work. Oh, <gasps> Really? 
Oh, I love a Charmander. Thank you. I'm not sure how far I gotta get before I can trade, but... Spatter... Spatterbug? Scatterbug's got like... 18 different patterns or something when he evolves? Hop up, learn to absorb. Nice. Any poison? Oh, I already did that one. I've already got him. Pokeball and a potion. And lots of people just leaving shit laying all over the place. Ooh, a revive. Nice. I don't want to throw a Pokeball at you. I don't need you that bad. Hey, what's up? You want to fight me? Cool. Let's go. There we go. Go with Sprigadito. Nice. Damn, there's a bunch of them up in the trees. I hate that so much. <laughs> I really don't like that. Hey. I guess I probably should bring out different Pokemon since Sprigatito's getting low again, but you know what? I love my girl. Ah, oh, you're so close. Being able to take it out in one hit. Nice. Wants to learn Hone Claws. Yeah, get rid of the freaking Tail Whip. I don't know what Hone Claws is, but it sounds cool. One, two, and ta-da! I got tail whip and learned hone claws instead. I guess I should have looked at seeing what hone claws even said. Learned struggle bug. Shiny, 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 shinies. I want to know what the shiny, like how it works. Like if I can actually see them, because I feel like that would be really weird if they don't look shiny when you see them on the map and then all of a sudden when they fight you suddenly they're shiny that would just be weird i feel like he's like the only ones that are around here i guess eh? i was also kind of hoping i might find um more rare ones around here oh i got my new attack too Use sharpens its claws to boost its attack stat and accuracy. Oh. It's not an actual attack then. Okay. I honestly really don't use, like, boosted, like, skills a lot. Like, ever. It's very rare that I actually use that. Oh. They look different for some reason. Um, it's very rare that I ever use those kind of attacks. Oh, really? Yeah, that's fair. <gasps> oh, that's the little thing that I seen! Okay, so it is here! Oh, look at it! What level is it? Okay. How much damage does Scratch do? Tommy. Oh, it's electric. Damn. Can I catch it now? Is it weak enough, we think? Come on. That's what I was looking for all over the friggin' map. I'm like, where is it? So now I get to choose which to send back. It has underdeveloped electric sacs in its cheeks. 
These sacks can produce electricity only if Pomni rubs them furiously with the pads on its forearms. Aww. I don't need the second scatter bug. Aww, you can keep six Pokemon in your party at once. Any other Pokemon can be sent to your Pokemon boxes for safekeeping. From the main menu, you can select your boxes to open them up. There, choose Pokemon to swap in and out of your current team. Oh, I can actually swap them from my freaking menu? Like, I don't have to go to a Poke Center? Yeah, I'm probably, like, just showing how much, like, how long it's been since I played a new game, hey? Oh, really? It's so cute. I love it. Oh, shit. I'm still paralyzed? I'm gonna have to go heal soon. All my guys are a little beat up. <laughs> I was thinking everybody else was full health, but I guess they're still at the health that they were when I caught them, which makes sense, you know? Stop attacking my speed. Oh, yeah. What does Fairy Wind do? It's their attacks by stirring up a Fairy Wind to strike the target. Nice. Uh, I'm going to say get rid of Splash. Splash, Tackle, and Tail Whip were all he had when I got him. Jesus. One, two, and ta-da. I love that they can just get experience without having to be battling. That's so nice. Are you trying to attack me? Fine, let's fight. Yeah, that makes things so much easier. Oh, nice, you still attack, cool. Go, Spigadino. I feel like that's the only attack that they've got at that point. I wish she could just hang out outside of the Pokeball with me. I would love that. I've got Let's Go Eevee, actually. I want to play that at some point, too, Once, probably once I've finished playing this one. I'm going to start streaming this one every week, too. I have not been up here yet. I was thinking I was, but... There's so many items everywhere. So I caught everything... Oh! There's a freaking... Um, shit, what's her name? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hey, Fallon, you're getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? Oh, you getting the hang of it? Let me see. So far, you've caught... Yeah! Oh. Ah! Whoa, what was that? I thought that was her surprised. <laughs> oh. I've never heard that kind of cry before. It could be some sort of strong Pokemon or something. Oh, wait. The friggin' legendary crashed in the water by here, didn't it? I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around. Just be careful. There's kind of unsafe cave from not far from here, so steer clear. I know your Rotom phone can help you keep away, sa keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. I want to find the uh, uh 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 um shit. What's her name? Oh, I didn't mean to hit you. Um. Shit, what bird is that? Oh no! Oh my god. Oh shit, he can attack. Um. Oh my god, that's gonna drive me nuts. Why I can't think of what freaking Pokemon that is. Um. Are they in the sky, maybe? 
Because they can be flying, right? So I feel like I have to have seen it somewhere if it's around this, if it's showing on my map, right? So I wonder if they're in the sky and I just missed it? I know you're here somewhere. Oh, how do I get up there? Oh. Maybe I have to get through the caves to get there, hey? It's probably like, what the hell are you doing? I thought we were gonna go investigate this. What the heck is this? Oh, a berry. Cool. I know there's one around here somewhere. Cause it's showing it on my map, so where are you? I feel like they're going to be abundant somewhere else anyways, but I want to friggin' know where it is. I want to find one. Come out, come out wherever you are. Do I got to keep taking out other things to like make room for it to come out or what? Okay, well, I guess we'll just go ahead. And we'll find it after. It's gonna drive me nuts what its name is. It's not here. I don't get it. Whoa. A horde of hobbits here. Interesting. I wonder if that means that there was like a shiny amongst them. I should fight them and see, I guess, eh? Hey? A few minutes later. It doesn't appear that any of these are shiny. Ooh. You wanna fight now, eh? Are you upset that I broke up your party and it knocked out all your friends? Ah, uh, really? As if. Hmm. Is there a birdie yet? Fine, I'll just keep going and I won't get one. Fletchling, that's his freaking name. That's a bad idea. I bring out my bug against the bird, that makes a lot of sense. I knew I'd find him! Okay, one more tackle and we should be good. Go, Lechonk! Let's go! Come on! I got a Fletchling! Pokemon is normally calm, but once it enters battle, its hormonal balances, balance changes and it becomes more aggressive. Hop up's the highest level, other than Pigadito. Take care out for now. Now there's a whole bunch of them. And now I'm gonna take all of you out. Let's see if I can find a shiny, since I finally freaking found you. Of course, Frickadito is not gonna have any freaking attacks left by the time we freaking get to whatever that noise was. To be fair, with how long I've been wandering around since that noise went off, it's probably gone by now. It's super effective, shit. I guess that makes sense.
Okay, LeChunk's got this. I'm sorry, but after how freaking long it took me to find one, and then finding a whole herd of them together there all of a sudden, they're going down. There's just no two ways about it. All of them. There we go. Okay, now we can go. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to call it right there before we get into the next big area. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for oh. watching. I apologize. I'm a Straight little though, bit of a noob at this game, but I'm figuring things out slowly. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure if you did to like and subscribe yeah, so you don't miss the, the next one. Right? All right. So. Until next time, guys. See ya.